Welcome to The Power of Faith with David Hathaway. In this episode, David continues his Bible study from the book of Hebrews. Jesus is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. After he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. The book of Hebrews links God's saving power with his creative power. In other words, the power that brought the universe into being and that keeps it operating is the very same power that cleanses our sins. No sin is too big for the ruler of the universe to handle. He can and will forgive us when we come to him through his son. That Jesus sat down means that the work of salvation was complete. Christ's sacrifice was final. Here in verse 3, and by the way, I'm using the, I think it's the New International Version. Uh, I may change later on in the study, but uh, just at the moment, yes, uh, I am. I'm using the, the NIV because I think in one sense that um, just explains it a little bit more clearly. So verse 3, the Son, this is Jesus, is the radiance of of God's glory hmm. and the exact representation of his being. So Jesus as the Son was created in the same image as God. Now this is quite interesting because right back in creation you remember when God is speaking he says let us make man in our image. Now, this is, it intrigues me. It's very intriguing because um, uh, Jesus was made like the Father. Let's go on and see. He's the radiance of God's glory, the exact representation of his being. Then turning from this, he says, sustaining all things by his powerful word. And we're beginning to see something here, that the power behind Jesus is the power of his word. We'll come back to that. Then he moves on, and in the next verse he says, after he had provided purification for sin, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. So what happened to Jesus, whatever his position was, from the beginning in creation, when he came and was born and lived on his earth, in order to provide a way of salvation, two things, to provide a way of salvation, and also to reveal God himself. So uh, after he had done this, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. So he became elevated. And it's the only time we actually see this, that Jesus Christ is seated at the right hand of God in heaven, close to him. That's why scripture says absolutely clearly, Jesus is the intercessor, interceding with the Father on our behalf. He's the mediator. Because he paid the price of sin, so he's been justified and given a new position in heaven. Do you get that? That Jesus, after his life and his death, when he goes back into heaven, is achieving a higher place. Now, this is important as you read on because he became, in verse 4, he became as much superior to the angels as the name he has inherited 
is superior to theirs. What is that name? Well, verse 5 tells us. It says, To which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, and today I have become your father? So despite the closeness of the relationship, the actual relationship between God is the Father and Jesus, the Son. And again, in the next verse, he's saying, I will be his Father, and he will be my Son. Then you come to verse 6, and again, when God brings his firstborn into the world. In other words, when God allowed his son to be incarnated, to be born on the earth, he says, let all God's angels worship him. So the very fact that Jesus became the tangible, visible image of God On earth, the angels are now instructed to worship him. And then verse 7, in speaking of the angels, he says, he makes his angels winds, his servants flames of fire. So in others, the angels have a power, a place, and a position in heaven. But verse 8, about the Son, he says, Your throne, O God, will last forever and ever, and righteousness will be the scepter of your kingdom. You've loved righteousness, hated wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has set you above your companions. So there are clear relationships in heaven and in the The Bible refers to the host of heaven. It refers to a few other things which we might deal with later. But it's simply saying that because Jesus was obedient and willing to come and to suffer and die to become the propitiation of our sin, God then exalted him, giving him a name above all other names, that at his knee all nations, all men, all people will bow. So it was the obedience, because that's the only thing I can see, it was the obedience of the Son being willing to come down and be born like us, live like us, share like us, yet totally without sin, so that he could be the one who could be the sinless sacrifice, the sinless Son of God. Because of that obedience, are you getting it? Then he's honored by the position that he's given. And, you know, it's, it's very interesting when you come back to the question of sin and the fact the Bible says all have sinned and uh, come short of the glory of God. God did not create sinners. God created Adam and Eve. And if you really examine the scripture, they weren't created to die. They were created to live. But why did they die? They died because of disobedience. And the first sin was simply they listened to the temptation of the devil who questioned God and said, has God said? And you know, this is the whole essence. And I'm going to have to emphasize this. The whole essence of God's authority, God's power, is that we obey him without questioning. After more than 70 years of ministry, David Hathaway has proved that God answers prayer. Through his book, The Power of Faith, David wants to show how you too can live in the fullness of the power of God. God's fire has been burning in David's soul, a passion to see the power of God demonstrated on earth. And he wants to pass this fire, this passion, onto you. 
This book is the amazing testimony of the faith which has sustained him all his life. And a demonstration of what God can do through you when you believe and act in faith. Order David's book, The Power of Faith, by visiting our website, eurovision.org.uk forward slash shop. Thank you for listening to The Power of Faith broadcast with David Hathaway. We would love to hear from you. Contact us by visiting eurovision.org.uk. Also available online are many free teaching resources to help you on your walk with God. David has written many faith-building books to encourage and inspire. Order these online today. Each month, David ministers online and in person. Our ministry is only possible because of the faithful support of so many people. For details on our evangelism and humanitarian relief work, visit eurovision.org.uk. Thank you again for listening.